Hello YouTube, and we're going to be covering how to make a, um, well, a, well, you'll see. We're going to make a dimension. <laughs> Alright, so first name your dimension. And I'm going to call it wetlands, because that's what we're going to be using it in it. So we're going to hit OK after you select dimension. And you want um, the first part up here is your portal frame, so this part right here. So you'll want something, some sort of block. I'm going to use this one right here. Um, next is the particles that spawn around it. So you know how you know, the portals have particles that spawn and stuff. That's that. Next is the sound of the portal. So that. And then your custom igniter name. So this is basically what ignites your um, uh, your portal. Like flint and steel, but not flint and steel. So it is a complete separate tool, just to let you know. So um, I'm going to call it. Why not? And the last one is the portal texture in the middle. And next. Now you have three options here. You can either make a world like um, the end, nether, or a normal world. I'll be using normal world. Um, in that case, because it's not the nether, you don't use these two right here. Um, that's strictly for the nether only. But this secondary filler block is basically um, what's underneath the um, like stone and um, ores. Like, I don't know, it's the main filler. So in the normal world it would be um, stone, but in the Nether, it would be, um, which would be this one, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it would be um, Nether Rock. So that's that. Fluid Block, um, what is uh, the main filler or fluid, um, like water would be in the regular world. Nether would be um, lava. So I'm going to select water main filler block that is um, basically what's on the surface so grass in my opinion because we're doing a regular world um, after we fill out all that um, base biome base so what is it based on I'm going, um, I'm going to select M crater my wetlands biome that we made in the previous tutorial um, now let's expand that alright so if you're going to have fog and select that, you're going to want a fog color. Um, I'm not doing fog, so we're not doing that. Um, can you respawn here? Um, if you can respawn here, like the regular world, then check that. Um, if you want the um, biome to be more like the end, where it's pitch black, then you want to select this and that's all I need there. Alright, so if you want structures that generate, now we will cover structures in a future tutorial, um, but you basically just select the uh, file you want and that's that. Um, now this is the crafting recipe for the um, the igniter tool. So we'll just quickly make one. All right, and that will, and that's all you need to do. So um, I'll see you in game. All right, we're in game, and um, we're gonna make the portal now. So we already got the block set that we need, and the item. Um, so it's just like a regular portal. a little offhand right there. Alright, there we go. And then we use the item to create our thing. And now if you wanted to make an animated texture, you can. And for some reason these guys spawn, I have no idea what. <laughs> uh, 
and prompto. We're in our world that we used our biome for. Um, as you can see, it's pretty good when it's in. Um, what do you call it? When you use the custom biomes for your um, your dimension. Just like look at that detail. No, it's still loading and everything, but if I go this way. Like, who wouldn't want to live right there? Ah. So, yeah. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, well, if you feel like it, that is. And I'll see you next tutorial.